Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.5 and problem number 2.74. A prismatic bar AB of weight Q and length L is supported at one end B by a string CB of length A and rests at A vertically below C against a perfectly smooth vertical wall. Find the position of the bar as defined by the length x for which the equilibrium is possible. So this is also more of a geometry problem. Now the given problem is AB is a prismatic bar. It is supported by a string BC and A. Our interest is to find what is the value of x so that the body is under equilibrium. So for that, if first I am doing a small construction. I am drawing a line perpendicular to the wall and passing through the point A, this line. And this is the weight Q is acting like this. This is another line passing through the center of gravity like this. These two are intersecting at this point. Now our interest is to find the value of x. Clearly we can see a right angle triangle ACE. Right angle triangle ACE. I can write the equation CE. CE square is equal to x square plus AE square. Or x square is equal to C e square minus A e square. If I can find the value of C e and A e, then I can find the value of x. Now, let us see how to find the values of that C e and A e. Now, clearly we can see some triangles here. Triangle B, G, E, a small triangle. We can find here a small triangle BG and also the big triangle BAC. You consider this big triangle. Now, these two triangles are similar triangles. Hence, I can apply the concepts of similar triangle concept. What is that? BG divided by BA is equal to BE divided by BC. In that, clearly you know that BG, this is the center point. Why at G, the weight is acting. That means G is the center point for the prismatic bar AB. So, BG is half of that or you can say BA is equal to 2 times of BG and BE value is BE and given that BC is equal to A, BC is equal to A, substitute here. So upon simplification, I can find the value BE is equal to A by 2 which is nothing but the value of EC because it is passing through the center. So, EC value I identified and that value is A by 2. Similarly, by using the same right angle triangle concept, BG divided by BA is equal to EG divided by CA. Now, BA, you can say it is 2 times of BG. EG divided by and CA value is given as X. Hence, I can say EG is equal to X by 2. Next, we can also find a small right angle triangle here. A, E, G. From this, sin alpha, if I write the equation sin alpha, sin alpha is equal to EG by A, G. You know that AG is equal to L by 2, half of that. EG value, just now you calculated that value is X by 2. 
So if you substitute here, then I will get sin alpha is equal to x by L. Okay. Now also you take the same right angle triangle AEG. Now AE is equal to AG into cos alpha. Or you can say cos alpha is equal to the adjacent side AE divided by the hypotenuse AG. Or you can say AE is equal to AG into cos alpha. But what is this cos alpha? I don't know the cos alpha. But I know the value of sin alpha. I can convert this sin alpha to cos alpha. And AG also, AG value is known, my dear friends, AG value is equal to L by 2 because it is half of the length. So, it is AE is equal to L by 2 into cos alpha. So, cos alpha is equal to sort of 1 minus sin square alpha. Sin alpha, I got the value of x by L from the pre previous slide. And if you simplify, I will get cos alpha root of L square minus x square by L square. And we know that from the right angle triangle, a E C C A square is equal to E C square minus A E square. So X square is equal to E C value. I calculated this value as A by 2. And A E value, I calculated this value as L by 2 into cos alpha. Hence X square is equal to A by 2 whole square minus L by 2 cos alpha whole square. And cos alpha, you know, this value is equal to this much. Hence I can say a square by 4 minus L square by 4 into L square minus X square by L square. I can further simplify this. And upon simplification further, X square is equal to A square by 4 minus L square by 4 plus X square by 4. So you can send this X square towards this side. Then you will get X square minus X square by 4 is equal to 3X square by 4 is equal to A square by 4 minus L square by 4. L I can cancel out throughout. Hence, I can find x is equal to square root under a square minus l square by 3, which is the answer for the given problem.